All right, <laughs> we are live. <laughs> What's love this time? Hey. Hello. Did you get the countdown? No. 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 I was two seconds behind. I almost feel like kind of. He demanded that you begin, and you began. So. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Honestly, to be fair, I, I went to click like change to the cams and like hit the music and like the cams didn't change. I like kind of misclicked a little bit, so you probably would have been right. <laughs> Technically you would. Damn it. <laughs> he was so close to greatness. Somebody so wanted to create a poll whenever I would get the countdown right. Like a bet. A bet, yeah. <laughs> How many times can Blood, Blood get the uh, countdown right? And if he gets it X amount, we'll give him a free subscription to Roll20. What one already, thank you. <laughs> it's not that expensive. Yes, when it's free. <laughs> I'd just rather never guess the timer and just buy it, yeah. It's a lot easier. Fair. Fair. Anyway, we are live tonight with Ghost of Salt Marsh, episode 29. Um, how are y'all doing? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. good. Yes. Good start to the night, I'm loving it. I'm good. good. I just thought I'd look that much. Deathly groans, you're good. Boris the hesitated good. Nah. <laughs> All right, very nice. Uh, well, seeing as how we caught up on Saturday, I thought, because we're a little late as well, um, why don't we just kick it off and do some recaps about last week um, and just get stuck into it. Do it. Tell Anyone me what has happened. Anyone want to start? No. <laughs> I, I started reading my notes as we were starting off and I was like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? I, I have missed a few things here. A few important key details I could have told the guard last week. <laughs> but then again, I wasn't really on good terms with them, so... Eh, whatever. Um, alright, well, I'll just start then. Um, so... We, we ended up, uh, trying to investigate what happened to the lovely merchant that got murdered. Um, who we had a little bit of a running uh, contract task quest with um, to find an apparatus of Qualesh, which we did find, traveled all the way to the depths of goddamn hell to find it, um, got threatened by a fucking demon lord or apparition of a demon lord to get it. Um, and to come back and find that she was dead, we brought her back to life, asked five questions about how she died, um, found out it was probably the um, cult of Thara's Dune that was behind it. Not entirely, you know, 100% sure, but that was pretty clear that it could be the case. Um, and as we were investigating and trying to find the whereabouts of the gold that we were owed and my bow, <laughs> we uh, were rudely interrupted <laughs> by the guard captain, which was uh, Ellen, Ellen? Eliando. Hey. Eliando, thank you. I was very close. Um, yes, Eliando um, and... Yeah, we essentially had to go to the um, prison because, you know, we were kind of just in the merchant's house where she was lying dead with the knife in her back. Um, and he, you know, was very suspicious of us, in which we had a very sternly worded conversation with the man, basically telling him to fuck off. <laughs> in which we had to explain the entirety of the last, I don't know how many months in the matter of like two sentences, which I did really badly. Um, <laughs> because it made me seem like exactly a madman. <laughs> um, so we told them about the medallion um, and the cult um, that has been trying to find the pieces of the medallion 
and that they were, you know, suspiciously the ones that tried to murder her or murdered her, um, along with the, the pirates, the smugglers, I believe. Um, in which finally he was convinced by Sir Boris here um, to kind of... Sir Boris and uh, Wel Welgul? Was it Wergul? In the church? Welgar. Welgar. Oh, God. Close. All right. Um, and yeah, he, he eventually he was convinced, um, but he basically said we could stay in town, we could keep the medallion on us while he investigated to see if our story, you know, hot, held up. And in that meantime, we kind of, you know, ran a bit of muck, I suppose. <laughs> I ended up leaving the town to go find the others who were calmly waiting outside of town with the apparatus basically tell them to come back into town um, and by doing that I got a band of dock workers um, to brawl near the, the city gate and um, you know capture the guards attention enough to let me slip out for an hour and they did a very good job at doing that <laughs> to my surprise as I came back there was no dock workers, but still a very large brawl and a line of merchants trying to enter into the city, um, which allowed us to just basically walk back in. We didn't have to do anything sly to get back in. Um, yeah, you should have just talked to Stolgig in the first place, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. A lot of damage nice. would be much bigger. To be fair, Stolgeg still just took part of the fucking brawl anyway and got some bloody eyes by beating up a couple of merchants in their stalls. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Steve blew up a wagon. Um, Boris tried locking himself in the inn, which did not really work at all. <laughs> He's getting a little senile. It was going all according to plan until Janice opened the door. <laughs> yes, until I opened the door very freely to find furniture stacked in front of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was rather funny. Um, and then we ended up basically while the, the guard was uh, investigating our story, we got back into town with Steven and everyone. We reconvened at the inn and we decided to go back to the merchant's um, shop to try and find the the bow and the gold for potentially the guard captain or anyone else would have found it. Um, to which we turned ourselves invisible. I convinced an old lady that I was not her husband and she started screaming and flailing enough for the guards to, um, you know, come over and start investigating her house in which I was able to slip out and we were able to slip inside. Uh, where there was still a couple of guards, but we managed to, well, Boris managed to put up a silence uh, spell, right? I believe yep. it's silence? Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, we used that, and we were just basically very quiet, used the, uh, you know, our very keen attentiveness to work out how to use the plank uh, <laughs> and the nail with the rune on it. How many failed intelligence checks was that? <laughs> In total? I believe three, oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> Four, technically, because there was a saving throw as well. Like, uh, by accident. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically seven, because that was the second attempt. <laughs> Couldn't yeah, save again. I say, like, you tried it twice. Was there? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, you I tried, tried before, before, before the, the guards panic. arrived. Yeah, before the guards. Damn it, before the guards arrived. After. Okay. I don't yeah. have it in my chat at all, though. I've just well, got the first one, but yeah, whatever. When we had the the one, the one, and the six, I think, or the six one six or whatever it six, was. Six one six, yeah. Oh god. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, we, we found a dumb. a little chest with uh, what was it, thirty um, platinum. Was it platinum? I thought it was the the other electrum. Electrum. Thank you. Oh, no, I, I always forget that one. I try to avoid giving out Electrum whenever I can, because I despise it. Alright, fair. Platinum. Yes, we found 30 Platinum. Um, we did not find our 100,000 gold. Um, and, but, but, 
gladly we found a little parchment saying um janice if i die uh, here is the location of the bow with a cross on it and i believe it was like on a small island yes. towards a small island yeah so um i would like to go find that today <laughs> What the dragon? What about the dragon? Good bow make dead dragon. <laughs> that is a good point. That's Let us one. go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the recap from last week. Does anyone else remember anything? Anything they want to add? Well, I've been seeing a lot of preaching to the younger guard. Yeah, while you were talking with Elliot. You have been preaching to a poor god who just happened to be on guard duty that day and was told off for uh, no, you know, not going to the going to church. temple willingly. Yeah. Uh, the only reason he goes is because his grandma just drags him there. I did and try and get. Sorry. Boris had to say something about that. I did try and get Gellan to the prison to help us out, um, but by the time we were like, came to a conclusion, Martin basically told us Gellan said that, <laughs> call him once we're actually in prison. <laughs> 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 Which was very fair because we hadn't actually got properly arrested yet. Um, or jailed, should I say. Um, and yes, I decided to bribe Martin once again. Um, in which we seem to have a lovely friendship going right now. Yes. Until you stop paying. Hey, man. <clears throat> if I stop paying, he stops getting paid. <laughs> oh, please do tell. I've just remembered. I got all the platinum, and I was promised the tank. Yeah. You were? Yes. So you didn't pay him. <laughs> um, yes, that was very much true, and you could certainly have the tank. Um, because, well, I don't care about the tank, I just want my bow. <laughs> no, we've also converted, uh, we also got an agreement from the merchant to convert her shop into a new temple. Ah... <laughs> uh... That was a little, um, a little hazy, I believe. <laughs> uh, yeah, my ears are old, but uh, I think she said yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. I mean, she's not going to complain anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to McProcant. How can I help you today? <laughs> Here is your preach. <laughs> That'll be five ninety five. Thank you. <sighs> um, donation on the way out <laughs> I, I I did realize something as I was reading my notes um, and that was that one of the pieces was uh, oh wait no now that I think about it they don't have it I was going to say one of the, the medallion pieces was with this hard one and we never actually found it but I'm guessing that piece was the one that they sold to the pirates yes okay cool yes. Um, the other thing is, is we actually do know the location of the cultus or the possible location of the cultus which is in the sty i believe so the sty. yeah the styes um so that's that's the possibility if we want to go that way i would probably not want to as we kill a dragon hopefully hopefully <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Well, if that will fail, I can always banish it. Great. Perfect. Or at least <laughs> try. As long as I get to kill. Yes. yes. Kill game, Good. yes. If you have a tank, you are uh, just... Yes. Go <laughs> <Go> ham. <laughs> can, you... That thing. can you attach the <clears throat> battle axe to the tank? What? Why would I let go of the axe? Why would I put the axe in someone else's hands? No, no, <laughs> put the axe into the claw of the of the tank. Can I do that? Don't see why not. I'm gonna do it. 
into it. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair, fair. Um, put, it the, <laughs> put it in the other hand. All right. So those are the possible options. Um, I, I, you know, of course, vote to go and find my bow first because I would like to take that with me on any other adventure before we set off. I have no objections, but I would like to do it in the next day, sort of, so I can get my spells back. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Sure, you, let's finish you got your tank. <laughs> let's finish the mission. Uh, does the does the map have any like clear indication of what island it is or like where it is, or is it just like an island with an X on it? Um. Sorry, I'm I'm struggling. Uh, it's it does give you uh like if you if you show it to people um that have been in salt marsh for longer they can tell you that it is off the coast um a bit to the south uh about a day's travel uh do we need a boat to get to it yes i mean <clears throat> yelling yes. my old friend <laughs> yeah, we can much. always use a tank we can use the tank but someone's gonna have to sit on top we could use the, the well, motion method again yeah, yeah. As I mean, you can just not submerge it as well, I suppose. Actually, I have my cloak of mantis breathing, so I don't need the potion. So I can definitely be outside of well, cloak of the mantis, whatever it is. So we can go that method. I could use water walk. Yeah, is that? <laughs> last the travel though it was like a day's worth of travel right it was a day day's worth of travel no it's not gonna last that yeah. long <laughs> yeah it's gonna run alongside the... <laughs> <laughs> well i i expect ayla will probably want to go inside i don't think litrix needs water breathing right um well he can only hold his breath for what was it 30 minutes uh uh 30 minutes? Okay. Something like that. So, Ayla and Strogig inside, possibly with Steve, um, Litrix, and Boris on top. And I will just hold on and basically swim with the Mantis cloak. I think the Mantis will last that long. Yes. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Or we can just get a boat and strap it onto the tank and make the tank pull the boat. Ah, that's no fun. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have a tank. It occurs to me I should probably learn how to drive this thing. Okay, can I sit down with Stolgig for like the next hour and just show him all the levers? With my really bad teaching skills because I drove this for like not even half a day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do have this outside of the city as well. You have it outside of the city, but you can now leave the city freely. It shouldn't be an issue. Alright. Um. All right, sorry, I uh, accidentally, um, well, Roll20 gave me the uh, message that my I had put too many um, things into their vault, so I had to delete things, and smart as I am, I deleted a map that I needed today. So... <laughs> okay, well. I, I just put that in. I'm sorry, I'm back. I am paying attention. All right. Uh, yes, you can certainly go out and have some driving lessons. All right. Uh, we'll have to is... register it as a vehicle. <laughs> no problem at all. 
I'm not registering no goddamn tank. <laughs> you will have to pay, you know, a little bit of a tax. But well, that's if they know road. about it. I'll just Public get Steve. <laughs> no, I'll just get Steve to cast invisibility on it until we get into the water. Uh, uh, well, tax invisibility <laughs> only works on creatures. Get right. Shit. And that would also be considered as tax evasion. That's another crime. Yep. No. <laughs> Just add it to the list, right? <laughs> I need a new book for that. See, the beauty of it is I haven't been caught for any of those crimes yet, so <laughs> that's what makes it more fun. <laughs> You're not a criminal if you weren't caught, yeah. Exactly. Mm. You understand. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop in the tank and be like, all right, Stogig, so these are the levers. And I'm like, this one moves the, the, the claws and all of a sudden, like, the claws just, like, retract inside. <laughs> like, the hands and everything. Oh, wait, maybe not this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, start pulling randomly. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> you are. I, I, I swear I figured this out earlier. I just, you know, I need to get the... the Muscle memory happening again. I'm just like mm -hmm. pulling all the levers and crap just going back. <laughs> oh, uh, can I do? Can I roll to see how well I teach him? <laughs> uh, please do. Uh, give me a performance check. Should I roll to see how well I learn? <laughs> yes. <laughs> give me an intelligence check. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> no, not bad. <laughs> alright, alright. That's impressive. Um, I did give you guys access to the apparatus of Qualish, where it actually shows you what which lever does. And, uh. um, you should have it in your journal somewhere. Uh, magic items, possibly. Alright, um, and, alright, so the two of you struggle with sort of, you know, teaching and listening until you just sit down and write little signs for each lever, <laughs> and, uh, just tape it there, and you're like, alright, cool, that's, that's it, that's good. Um... And yeah, you Stolgeg, you now know how to how to drive a crap tank. Nice. <laughs> All no, right. you, right. you, you think you you think you can drive this Stolgeg? You understand? I'm at my peak. There it is. Now just whatever you do, don't put the axe into the dashboard, right? Just don't murder it. Just drive it. I'm just in my own world, making car noises. <laughs> All right, good, good. So I just like tap, tap him on the shoulder and just be like, oh god, no, and just start walking out. <laughs> we are doomed. doomed <laughs> what have I, I done? Tell you. And then I'll, I'll go see everyone else outside and, and just see if they're ready to go. Um, it is currently afternoon, mm. so you can. Uh, either stay in town for the night or just head off now and deal with the fact. Also, um, you know what? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not real. Not I'm not gonna question the logistics of your plan. Huh? Don't worry about it. It's fine. I, I hate when she does that. Um, okay, whatever. Oh. God is just, you know, indecisive right now. So, yes. <laughs> uh, is it what? What? What is everyone feeling? Do we want to go now and basically arrive at the island? I don't know, mid morning or, or I guess midday tomorrow, or would we prefer to just wait? I think Zeppelin wanted to wait didn't he? 
It's Devlon. Oh, it's Bar. It was. <laughs> Stoke Eric, look. Pay attention. <laughs> Who are you? I can take a long rest on the way if it's a whole day travel. So it wouldn't matter for me if we stay or leave right away. Wait, where's Bar sitting? Can, can he do that? God or. <laughs> Um, if you take the boat, maybe yes. If the sea is calm, sure. And if he's inside of the tank, <laughs> which yeah, that it we matter. can't because the two little ones need to go inside of the tank. Fold them in half. <laughs> Oops, okay. Two little ones count as Look, one medium. Just. Just. Like to make sure that we all get our much needed rest before we leave how about we just stay until tonight sleep and then we'll leave in the morning because I don't know if the seas are going to be calm God might smite her fury upon us and who knows what dwells in these waters Kraken. there's still uh, a thing that shall Let's... not be spoken about which is kind of sort of in the direction you're going which he just spoke <laughs> about <laughs> I didn't mention its name. Uh, Alright, so 